Hello friends and welcome back to this series. In the last video, we looked at how to use control templates to change the look and feel of your control. In this video, we'll be looking at Visual State Manager and we will be using that to also, you know, advance uh, the look and feel of our control. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so this is where we stopped uh, in the last video. We'll be able to use control templates to change the look of our radio button to look like this. Now, in this video, we'll be looking at Visual State uh, Manager uh, to, to control the selection of the radio button so that we'll be able to have the look that we want. And this is the look that we want. When you select one, we have the primary color as a background and then we'll have the white color as a text color, as a, as a foreground. All right, so now let's go to... So this is our control template in our style dot, dot XAML. So to do that, you go to your style of XAML and then you create a control template. We've done this in the last uh, video. Now, what we're going to do is in this border, this is where we're going to set the visual states. And to use visual states, we're going to start with a, a visual states manager dot visual state groups. And then right there, we have going to have a list of visual states group. So which means you can have different group of visual states uh, in the list, but we're going to have one. In this case but you have to save visual state uh, group lists and this group list uh, will contain uh, a visual state group so we can have visual states group as this and then you know right in this list you can have another visual state group uh, if you want to but in this case we're just going to have just one group and this group we're going to call it a name give it a name so let's say x name uh, Let's give it a checked states. Checked states. Now, some, sometimes you can reference this this stay, uh, this group in code uh, to be able to change uh, the look on the fly. We're not going to do that. So uh, we're going to just uh, use the states, the property, the setter to set uh, to set uh, some properties here. So in order to do that, we, we need to create a visual state, visual state. And this visual state, let's give it a name because we don't have different visual states in this group. So let's give this one a name. Uh, the name is um, checked. So when the um, radio button is checked, it's very important uh, at this point uh, to use the... Um, to use the, the property of, um, to use a state of the control you're working with. So in this case, we are using checked. Uh, if it is like a list, we we'll probably just uh, use like selected, you know, unselected, things like focus, on focus, and stuff like that. So now in here, we're going to have some setters. So visual state setters, we say visual state dot setters, and then Right here, we're going to have different setter. So let's the first setter I want to have uh, is the property. We want to change the property of the the this control, this border. I want to change the uh, because the visual state is actually going to be attached to this border. You can see it's inside the border. Uh, so we're talking about the visual state for the border, and the border is is inside the template for the radio button. So say property. And the property that I want to change is the background is the background color and then we want to set the value of that to say value of that to uh, a static resource static resource and let's give it primary that is our our color primary and then we'll close this now this is having this line so i'm gonna i'm gonna relaunch the ha the hub uh, for us to see with this now what you will see is that once this is checked anyone that is checked you have uh the primary color which is the blue color has the background so that is what we expect to have and that's the first thing in the thing in, in the thing that we're going to do. 
there are other properties that we're going to set uh, which i'm going to show you in a moment so if you go to hard you can see now that this is the selected uh radio button and it's already changed if i select another one it's changed if i select another one it's changed and the reason why they are not changing is because we've not set anything when i click on it it's supposed to be on to be uh unchecked but we've not set any visual state for the uncheck which we're going to do uh, later on so the next value we want to check want to change is once, we, once this is selected we want to change the text the text color to be white and then if you look at our design let me show you quickly you can see that once this is checked the, the text here is a little is bolder than uh this other one so we're going to also change uh that property for any of the selected uh radio button so to do this we want to target the content of the radio button and don't forget that the content of the radio button is this is this label and this label already has a name so what we're going to do is to change the property of this label to reflect in the content so let's say setter and then the target will be let's say target name and the name of what we're targeting is label label and this label is what we have here that is the name of this label if you are if you call this uh say content label you have to say content label here so the, the name must must actually match then what we now want to do is to set the property the property of that label now the control we are targeting is actually the label and to 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 get to the label we have to say label that is the control now not the name label as this if it's a text box you have to say text text box we don't have a text box in in uh uh the tent but if it's like um uh entry you have to say entry dots so you have to say label dot what's the property that i want to target you want to target the text color text color so you must know the the, the property and type it uh you know accordingly so this is how you say text color and then we go to the value and the value we want to give to it is white and then i can close this uh currently not reflecting uh so but i, I will uh, I will, ref I will refresh later on the next thing we want to do is to set the uh how bold it is uh when it is selected so let's say setter is going to follow the same thing target name equals label and then the property is going to be label dot font family now the value is going to be the font family that we have that is the semi bold so we change the font family to, to be bold to be semi bold so i'm going to close this and lastly what we want to set is we want to set the opacity of this to be one because when it is unchecked the opacity will be reduced uh which is in our design this you can see this opacity is actually reduced uh, if i can let me minimize uh this so that you can see uh you can see the from our design the opacity is actually at 60 percent um that is 0 0.6 the opacity of this is at 100 percent that is one so we have to do that also so let's do that next say setter target name is still the label label and then the property is the label dot opacity and the value is one so because this is the check state the value will be one this is a check state so let's quickly um relaunch this and then see uh what we have in the design and after we uh, we see that the next visual states that we're going to create will be the unchecked so this is the checked one that we are done we're done with now so let's quickly see how it looks like hard and you can see that as it is checked the opacity is one uh it is semi-bold i mean not necessarily see it, uh, see the difference semi-bold uh semi bold font family semi bold i'm just trying to um reconfirm all these things to be sure that there is no mistake anywhere so if i select this you can see 
is white semi bold white is semi bold all right so i can go back and select it again so next let's go to the next visual state that we want to create so what i'm going to do to make it easy is to copy the same visual state the check state and then right after it you're going to paste this and change it so this is going to be the unchecked state now the unchecked state the background color is going to go back to the default color and this is the you know, off-white color so let's change it back to so off-white and the text color that that the background color goes back to off-white the text color is going to go back to black black we will remove the font family it will result it will go back to how it used to be and then the opacity will be 0.6 let's save as you can see as i'm selecting it is now reflecting all right guys so that is how you work with visual state manager in dotnet maui uh, in the next video, we'll be looking at some advanced binding and some uh, advanced uh, converters. Um, so, if you want to check the, the rest of the series, you can use the link in the description below uh, to check the rest of the series. See you then.